Hi, I'm Tom Segura, and this is Bert Kreischer, and this is Two Girls, One Cargo Trailer. This is pretty, ain't it? Oof. Oof. I always hit that mirror, I'm sorry. And I am very grateful for this truck. It was on an auction an old Canadian police vehicle and I knew it already had the fuel line rebuilt and uh, I was a little nervous with that type of investment but it proved to be a good one I got it for such a deal and I did need to replace the DPF filter and the low pressure fuel pump but I have put on 15,000 miles and uh, and I got it a year ago oh it's my one year with this truck hey Gertie we've been together one year oh that's exciting are we home I spray these little pieces of cotton with saturated peppermint and clove oil and then Oh, shit. And then every couple days, I spray things down lightly. With a mixture of peppermint and clove with just a little bit of water. I've even gone so far as to brush Riot and then put her dog hair in here. And I have had no evidence of mice. I'm very thankful, no evidence of mice. However, the chipmunks do not give a fuck. The internets say that they are not supposed to like peppermint or dog hair either. And Riot's been doing a fantastic job of chasing them away when we're hanging here at camp. But Lord knows what happens when we go for a hike <clears throat> so, what I have done a couple times, and y'all can hate me for this, but I would rather protect my engine and my ability to, I don't know, not spend a shit ton of money repairing the truck because of chipmunks. So what I did is I duct taped a mouse trap right here, baited with peanut butter, and because I knew they were still getting up in here, right, it was alerting to it, and I saw it. I saw them go from under the truck up into the truck. So I baited a mouse trap with peanut butter, I placed it in there, and I caught two chipmunks. I also caught a chipmunk back in here in one of the mouse traps I already had set up. So when this is closed to, and, and this is closed as well, the bottom part, there's this little gap right in here. And those little ninja fuckers are able to still get in. Uh, so I effectively have killed Alvin, Simon, and Theodore. I got three so far. And I'm still sleeping at night. Hopefully if I keep dousing things with peppermint, they'll just stay out of the engine compartment. But like I said, before I had set the mouse traps, I saw one run under the truck and jump right up into the engine compartment. So instead of baiting with peanut butter, which I'm a little nervous is going to attract them to the interior of the engine, I did get some glue traps. And I got the rat size ones because chipmunks are maybe a little bigger than mice, right? Uh, luckily everything seems to be fine in the truck. I have been going and I'm checking all the wiring. Uh, I don't know if anyone else watching has a Ford F-250, but it seems like most of the wires are encased in uh, like a wire casing, so they're not just like exposed. So I feel like there's extra protection in there, but I'm not taking any chances. But this is what we did. I did. I always say we because I count Riot as a person. So I put the glue trap here because this is where I was putting uh, the mouse trap baited with peanut butter. And I don't want the peanut butter to attract them in. 
You know, I'm, I'm using the peppermint to repel them. It's working for the mice. Them damn chipmunks, man. I have a feeling even if I move camp and I go camp for two weeks in another forest, I'm gonna be running into the same thing. Another thing some of you may have seen in the news is the Oregon State Parks have effectively closed to disperse camping because there is so much trash. So hey, I, I said it in my video about a week ago and I hate to forecast those things, but there was so much trash and so much human feces. Even though the rule is all you have to do is dig six inches down, man. So, but at any rate, they closed dispersed camping in all of the state forests. Now, national forests are still open. I'm in a national forest right now. But that's why I'm saying, you know, being responsible for the trash, even if it's not yours, is so important because effective today, they closed dispersed camping in state forests here. Depending on the time of year, I go between one or two bags of ice a week. This Arctic cooler actually works really, really well. I'm surprised at how long it keeps Riot's meat cold. I really only need to refrigerate my cheese, my spinach, and maybe my carrots. I also have some kimchi in here right now. I tend to eat with the season, so we are going to be having a lot of clementines, kiwis, and pineapple. Lunch. I'm sure some of you share your food with your dog. This has been going on for a while. It started as a small hole like this from someone's claw. Instead of throwing it away, I'm gonna try and weave a new seat on it. Hey, I'm Lex and welcome to 500 Minute Crafts. And one of my viewers, and I'm sorry I don't have your name at hand, uh, recommended I learn a double fisherman's knot. So that's what I'm gonna try and use because looking it up, that does look to be like a strong, healthy knot. So hopefully I don't fall through the chair. I'm gonna leave the bottom of it on. I watched this REI video on how to tie this double fisherman's knot and I had to watch it at 0.25 speed. I still don't think I did it quite right, but fuck it. That actually works okay. It's ugly, but that actually works. Your friends come out. You want to come up here? It's weird, you guys. It's like firmer. It's ugly, but it's actually working. It's supporting my weight. It supports my weight with Riot, and it's surprisingly comfortable. It's ugly as shit, but it works. I didn't do a very good weaving job. I didn't have enough rope. I also don't care that much, so there's always that. Yeah, but I'm really surprised that that works so well. Check me out sitting in my repaired chair. Cost me four dollars and sixty-eight cents for this rope. Well, good morning, sunshine. Welcome to a cloudy Oregon day. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I am currently drawing a chipmunk so that we can do a reenactment of the silliness that went on the other day with the trailer. Welcome to the chipmunk reenactment, cargo trailer, nonsense, silliness, and the reason our cargo trailer is currently packed with steel wool. The morning began like most others. I was sitting on the bed journaling. I had the door open because it was nice enough out. Riot was sitting on the bed with me. And I heard kind of like a, like the sound of small feet on Metal. From behind the screen, I could see a little chipmunk on our step. And it was looking in at us. Like, what are you guys doing? And then when we saw it, and it realized we saw it, it decided to scram. Now when this little chipmunk decided to scram, it must have found 
its path of least resistance by going in to this open steel frame that I now have jam-packed with steel, steel wool. Now this open steel frame runs to here and then up into here, which I now am temporarily plugging with steel wool till I put the coupler back in. But all the way back through here, as that is where the wiring comes out. So our little chipmunk friend was running his ass all the way along the steel framing back and forth like an agility tunnel for about uh, I'd say the better part of an hour until me and Riot got him out. Did you fight the chipmunk? So the moral of the story is if your cargo trailer has any of that square steel framing I would advise plugging it with steel wool if you are in chipmunk territory. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got something out of today's video. <laughs> if you did, please like and subscribe. And our next video is going to be about some simple upgrades that we're making on the cargo trailer that make a big difference for us. We hope you'll join us for that. Uh, and until next time, have a riot.